So I see many familiar faces and, and also um, some new ones. Um, so the developmental origins of disease is now a widely accepted concept, although it certainly wasn't when I first started practice in the late 80s. And now it's also widely accepted that the first 1,000 days from conception through to the end of the first two years of life set um, trajectories for the development of the gut, microbiome, immune system, met metabolic system and indeed the HPA axis that underpins mental health. But the critical significance of the first 100 days post-birth, I would argue, is still not um, properly understood um, by our health systems. So, you know how it is. If we have the complex adaptive system of the mother-baby pair embedded in various other complex systems like the the um, family, the socio-cultural context, and comprised of other complex systems like particular physiological systems and so forth. If we put in very early on a small perturbation, if we put something in early on to that complex system, we have the risk of amplified and unpredictable effects down the track. And yet, knowing all of this, you, you would all appreciate from, from um, your work um, with new families that parents are receiving enormous amounts of conflicting and confusing advice in these months after the birth of their baby. Would you agree that that's an experience that the parents you care for um, are having and are often really very distressed about? So there's a great deal of inappropriate medicalisation of infant behaviour problems and infant breastfeeding problems. And we also know that women delay seeking help for mood problems because they're reluctant to um, consider the use of medications and because they're often not really wanting to have separate appointments for a psychologist or mental health expert, in fact. So it's into this space that we've come with neuroprotective developmental care, which is popularly known in the community as the Possums Programs. Um, so the, the term neuroprotective developmental care was um, first used by Heidi Owls and her various teams over the years working in the NICU setting with Premies and um, with acknowledgement we're taking that term to refer to the programs that we've developed up for the first year of life. So neuroprotective developmental care is integrated interdisciplinary and has unusually um, robust peer-reviewed and published theoretical frames. Um, and we've begun the, the long journey of putting in place evaluations and we have a number of preliminary evaluations that, that look very positive. Um, in fact, all the publications that um, are the evidence base um, pinning neuroprotective developmental care are available on my personal website, either in PDF or, if that wasn't possible for copyright reasons, then as final drafts. So that can be a useful resource. Um, so over the next two days that we're going to spend together, we're going to be very focused on... Um, sharing with you clinical skills that you can take away and begin to implement in your practice. So we're hopeful that most of you have already done either face-to-face -face or online the certification days. Could I just have a little indication of who's managed to do that? Thank you. Um, so that's where the evidence base is laid out. And for those of you who haven't had opportunity to do those certification days, if you've got questions, please don't hesitate to call on myself, but one of our three educators whom I'd like to introduce, 
Do you mind standing up, Renee Cam? Thank you. And, um, and, and Sharon Perella, who's right up here with me. And Renee Keogh. Thanks, Renee. Um, so the four domains that we'll be dealing with, the gestalt breastfeeding, the five domain approach to cry fuss problems, the possum sleep intervention, and then um, focused acceptance and commitment therapy for perinatal and infant mental health. And of course, what we're doing does constitute a paradigm shift. It's very unpleasant actually being in that place where there's movement from an old set of uh, beliefs and approaches to something that's uh, new, that's abreast with all the new neuroscience, lactation science, and indeed integrating evolutionary biology, cross-cultural studies. So in this place, um, there can often be this place of transition. There can often be a lot of uh, confusion, um, frustration, and indeed um, tension across disciplines. And, and that's the place that we're in at this time. So uh, by way of both declaring a conflict of interest and um, introducing you to, to um, the products that we have available, um, Possums Education, you know, or Possums for Mothers and Babies Limited, is a tiny um, a charitable organisation with no external funding. And so we would love to bring you everything we did absolutely free, but we can't. And so we sell products. And uh, we have the Gestalt Breastfeeding Self-Help Program online for parents with health professional licences. The Possum Sleep Film, the same. Um, we have uh, just launched our PIPS peer support program. Debbie Spink is our coordinator and we'll talk to this later on in, in the weekend. We've got um, the online certification <coughs> workshops and uh, most importantly, we've just got underway with our accreditation pathway um, and we'll talk to you more about this on the weekend. But we would commend it to you because um, Apart from all the other benefits, there's a very rich portal of material with clinical tools and parent handouts. Basically, all the material that I um, have developed over the years for use in, in my consultations and that are used by my teams.